Hi, this is the Market Doll Queen, and today we're going to talk about uh, basic dividend investing strategies. So what are dividends? Dividends are basically just cash payments that companies pay to their shareholders to share in the company profits because you're part owner in their company. So why do companies offer dividends? Simply put, a company's growth has slowed and the stock price won't climb as much. And the company shares in the profits to keep its investors happy. Now, this happens to almost all companies after they attain a large market cap. It just reaches a point where it no longer has the potential to grow at great percentages. No matter how much money they put back into the company, it's just not going to get much higher than the price range that it's running at right now. But the key takeaway that I want you to understand from this is that even though the company growth has slowed, it's still a good indicator that the company is healthy enough to continue to keep on paying dividends out to its shareholders. That's a good indicator and that's something you want to look for in a future dividend investment. There are many places online such as NASDAQ.com and Dividend.com that will point you in the direction of dividend paying companies that are worth putting in your portfolio. That being said, there are plenty of strong, stable companies that have been paying dividends for many years, but there are always new companies coming into the dividend space that show great potential for future growth. And you can add to your portfolio. So always keep your eyes open for those. Investing in dividends is a slow and steady method of investing. The famous Warren Buffett is known for investing in great dividend paying companies that have helped him build his wealth over the decades. His advice to us investors is always reinvest your dividends which is a very sound trading strategy that just makes sense. It's also known as DRIP. DRIP is also defined as the dividend reinvestment plan, which simply put means that all your cash dividends that you get in payout from the company gets reinvested by buying more shares in that same company. It just, it's like a compound interest. If they pay you to own shares and then you take that money that they paid you and you buy more shares, it just keeps growing and growing and growing like a vicious cycle that's a very good vicious cycle. Now, this is going to bring us to four very important dates when it comes to dividends. So the four dates are the declaration date that is also known as the announcement date. Sometimes you'll see it as as announcement date or declaration date. Basically, all it is is when the company declares or announces when the dividend is going to be paid out again. The ex-dividend date is the most important date that I want you to pay attention to. This is the date that you need to own the shares before in order to qualify for the dividend payout. You have to own the shares before the ex-dividend date to get the payout of the dividend share. The date of record is just when the company puts you on record that you're a shareholder and that you have dividends coming to you. And then the pay date, this is when the dividend is paid out to all the shareholders. So right here, this is the declaration date. This is when the company tells everybody we're going to pay out a dividend. And usually they pay out dividends quarterly every every four months. Every three months, excuse me. There you go. So anyways, on the ex-dividend date, right here, this is the date you have to own before. 
So anything you own before there, you you get dividends for those shares. Then it takes about two days for the company to get all the shareholders on record of who they have to pay. And then usually within like a few weeks to a month, that's when the pay date comes out. So you're going to want to buy the shares before the X dividend date. You can hold them and you can keep on holding them and reinvest your dividends as the drip plan. Or you can hold them and sell them when they get higher after the X dividend date. Once you sell on the X dividend date or anywhere after the X dividend date, you have guaranteed yourself that you've got the dividend because you owned it before. And then here's when you can sell. But I would suggest that you sell when the price starts rising towards the next X dividend date. And the reason I say that is because the stock market has some safeguards in place to where on the X dividend date right here, this is when the share price will reflect the actual dividend price, which means that the share price will subtract the dividend, whatever the dividend is, it will subtract from the share price because the company no longer has that as part of their capital. So it, it no longer belongs to them. You understand that? All right, good. So then once we do all that, you can, you can gauge where you want your trades to come in and where you want to come out. A lot of longtime investors, they just go ahead and, and employ the, the drip method. And they just reinvest, just like Warren Buffett. They just keep on reinvesting. And it just grows and grows and grows and grows. And that's exactly what you want it to do. So next, uh, here I'm going to go to the dividend calendar at NASDAQ.com. And what I'm going to look for, when I'm looking for a dividend that I want to invest in, I'm looking for at least a couple of days ahead of where I am right now because I have to own the shares before the X dividend date. So right now, because this is the first full week of November 2019, I'm going to look at Wednesday, November 6th, because tomorrow will be Monday, the November 4th. Okay, you got that? So you can put up here any symbol that you're looking for to see when their dividends get paid out. Or you could go ahead and do the dividend calendar by date. That's helpful. Either way you want to look at it. Now, what we're looking for is dividends that are in the 4 to 6% um, yield range. That's really good. That's considered really good. And I like anything in that range up to 10%, 15%. That's really good. So let's go ahead and dissect this calendar. So right here, there's the company. Here's your tickers. Here is the X dividend date. So this is the date you need to own it before. This is the payment date. This is when the shares, the, the, the dividend payment will come out to you. And this is the record date. This is the date that the company will record all the shareholders that now are owed dividends. And the dividend amount is 32 cents per share. Right there. And right here is the indicated annual dividend. You got it? So I suggest you go ahead and search where you'd like to search and see what you can find to, in, to add to your portfolio if this is a trading strategy that appeals to you. Now remember, I'm going to press upon this X dividend date. Own it before. Once you own it before, you get the dividend. So I alerted our first dividend long swing last week, the last week of October 2019. And it was PEI. 
So right here is PEI, which is load, load, is the Pennsylvania Real Estate Investment Trust. Been in business since 1960. So I'd say this is a long and stable company. Seems to be doing just fine. And it's got a dividend yield of 15.22%, which is very good. And that is another reason that I picked it. And it is consistently paying out quarterly dividends at 21 cents per share. It has a long standing history, and you can go back and check its history from all the way from when it began and if it increased or decreased, however it happened to work out. So I just wanted to show you how to do this and how to locate your tickers that you might want to use this dividend trading strategy to your repertoire, if you will. All right. Thank you.